Hey everybody, um, back with another lesson. I wanted to go over something similar to what we did last week. Last week we did the sun moon, and this is similar in that we're going to start off with a big circle. So you'll need a bowl for that just like you did before. But this week we're going to draw emojis. So I'm going to draw a crying, laughing emoji, but you could easily change this to make whatever emoji you want. And I think you'll find that there's actually a lot of color and opportunities to learn about light and how it um, changes. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with a big circle, just like we did. And then in the middle of the circle, right here on the bottom half, we're gonna draw a big half circle for a smiley. You could always bring another bowl back if you wanted to get this line just right. You could trace half the bowl. I'm going to freehand it as best as I can. All right. So let's go over that again just to get it a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, next we're going to need a shape that is a sort of bean shape. So here's the shape of a bean. And I want you to imagine if you stretched this shape out, what would it look like? It would look like something like a boomerang maybe. Right, so just a sort of long, um, it's a half circle on the top, but instead of a flat line on the bottom, we've got another curved line. However you want to draw that, that's the shape that we need for the eyes and also for the eyebrows. So the first eye is going to go right here, starting towards the middle, not right in the middle, but just a little bit off to the side. We're going to curve that line over here and then add the curved line on the bottom to go this way. And we've got one eye. Next, we'll do the same thing on the other side curved line on top and curved line on the bottom. All right, there's the eyes. Next, we're going to add the eyebrows and the eyebrows are very similar. Just a curved line on the bottom and a curved line on the top. There we go. <clears throat> All right. The last part of this is going to be the tears that are coming out of the corners of the eyes. So to make room for those, I'm going to erase just a little bit off of the side of my circle so that I can draw a big teardrop shape. <clears throat> a teardrop shape starts with two angled lines. So let's practice it really quickly. Two angled lines that touch and then a half circle at the bottom like that. So we'll draw it right here. Let me get rid of that paper underneath so it doesn't show through. <clears throat> so we've got one angled line this way and one angled line this way and a half circle at the bottom to join the two up. Same thing on the other side. Uh, that one's a little too close together. Let's try again. <clears throat> There we go. All right, I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit more because I want it to look just right so that when we go to color everything, I'm not unhappy with it. There we go, that's good enough. Okay, now we've got everything drawn with lines except for the teeth. That's the last thing. So the teeth are going to be made with a line that runs the same direction as the top of the mouth. Then we come down just a little bit on each side and make another line that goes the exact same way. Has a little bit of a curve to it. There we go. All right, now for the fun part, we get to color this. So the interesting thing about emojis is that 
um, they have a little bit of a light to them, a shine to them. The light's coming down from above and it's white up here and then it goes into yellow and then into orange. So I'll walk you through how to color that. We're gonna start by just outlining the whole thing with orange. So let me get that out. And I'm gonna go around the entire edge of the drawing with orange, skipping over the teardrops. All right, next, <clears throat> we're gonna leave this part blank. Let me just thicken that line and also try to smooth out that place where I made a mistake. There we go. Okay, we're gonna leave this part blank because it's white. So we'll have to start with some yellow and just bring it uh, you know what, let's bring it all the way up to about here. So I'm going to draw a little line where I'm going to stop coloring it in yellow and just leave it white. So from there up is going to be white. And in between, about here and there can be filled with yellow. Okay, um, let's bring this yellow down a little bit further because even if we put orange over top of it, it will help the orange look a little bit more vibrant. Make sure you get some on the undersides of all the shapes because there's a little touch of yellow here. Good. So next, I think we're going to go in by adding a little bit of uh, this peachy color if you have it. If not, that's okay. You can always um, skip this step. But I'm going to add some peach on top of this yellow on the bottom part because we're going to turn this color into orange very soon. So if it has a little bit of peach on top of yellow, it's kind of like halfway between orange and yellow. There we go. All right, next, um, let's add some of the yellowest orange you can find. This is called golden yellow. And we're gonna put that underneath this area. And just leave that little bit of yellow under the eyes right there. And fill the rest in with golden yellow.
I want most of my emoji to be this golden yellow color. And then we'll add some extra darker orange on top. Okay, there we go. So if the light is coming down from the top and the bottom has less light on it, <clears throat> it's also going to be a slightly darker color. So let's grab this orange and just put it along the bottom of the emoji to get it to look like a part that is blocked from the light by the rest of the emoji. Okay. Um, I think we can even add a little bit of brown at the very bottom and especially under the teardrops and along the bottom edge of the emoji just to get a really round shadowed look to it. That looks like it helps a lot. <clears throat> I think I want some of this yellow to come up a little bit further. I think there's a little bit too much white showing at the top. Almost looks like this is supposed to be a bald emoji or something. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now, I'm going to start filling this in with brown, all the places where the facial features are. And hopefully that will get us a better feeling for what we need to do next because there could be any number of things that don't quite look right <clears throat> right now in the drawing. We can't really tell because some of it's white when it's going to be brown in the end. You could also use black if you want. Um, in the emojis that I see, it looks a little bit brown to me, so I'm using brown and then I'm going to add a stripe across the top of each part in black just to get it to stand out. There we go, it's starting to look a lot better with that brown in there.
Here we go. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I'm going to add a little bit of black to the top just to help the, the look of the shadow. So the, to the top of each eye, to the top of each eyebrow, and then in the mouth. go <clears throat> okay now for the tears so the tears just like the emoji has some white at the top because the lights coming down from above the tears are also going to have that same thing so to outline the place where the white is going to be left on the tears just make a triangle inside the top of the teardrop and then you can put a curved line right here it's almost like a miniature teardrop inside the teardrop. Two lines, and then a curve at the bottom. And then we can fill the rest in with blue, and we'll add a little dark blue at the bottom to keep that effect of a shadow. I'm just going to add a couple blue lines right here to take it in between blue and white. And then we'll take the dark blue and add a little half circle right here at the bottom. Okay. So I think that's all we need to do for this drawing. It's just about complete. If you would like to do the same thing, but with different expressions, you're completely free to do that. There's all kinds of emojis to choose from. You can see the, the expressions are pretty simple. The key is to color in the background with white, then yellow, then add a little bit of orange or peach on top of the yellow then switch into orange and put brown on the bottom and then when you put the eyes and other features like that inside you can fill them in with brown and do a little black stripe along the top to help it to pop out you can also do this with blue um, if you wanted to do a screaming emoji or you could do the same thing with a heart it has no eyes or anything on it but it it um, follows the same idea where you leave white on the top and then the lightest version of your color and then a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker all the way to the bottom. <clears throat> all right, I hope you guys have fun with this lesson and I'll see you next time.